Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Burda, burda, burda. Hello, Croydo. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are. This uh, once again on um, Tacticus. This is my second video on this one. Quite enjoying the game, and I'm slowly beginning to get the hang of this. So this is sort of a beginner's guide from a beginner. Um, so the first thing to, to point out is obviously this is like the various screens. You have various characters, various controls. Obviously with the, the options down at the bottom. It's worth noticing, no, uh, noticing, noting that if anything, if there is ever a green one, that it means there is something you can do. Now uh, you come onto the screen and you go, oh, okay, there's a green thing. Uh, but you actually have to scroll down. Um, so there's actually quite a few things sort of hidden away. Uh, I probably will get one of those because that might be handy. Uh, the gold is sort of readily available, so I spend it whenever I see it. Uh, I can claim my free daily crate. 209, see, see what I mean about coins being basically all over the place. Uh, and so some upgrades appear. This one has got a plus on it, which probably means I can apply it straight away. So as you can see uh, down at the bottom, this one has now turned green. So I can now click on that one and I can go to this and I can upgrade one of my uh, random heroes. These ones I'm not really using at the moment, the plague heroes and whatever else have you. Um, there's, oh, I can upgrade two of them in fact. So he can have that one, there we go. Uh, and then, then it turns yellow because these guys can be upgraded but I don't have the uh, resources to upgrade them. I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, I can go on to this one. So there's something here again. Oh, there we are, right up at the top. Nearly missed it. It's that letter right at the top there. Uh, I can claim my wolf beast trophies, which can go towards some, something else. And then tucked away over here, there's guild ones. Um, they are not immediately apparent. But it did have things. Is it guild raids? Oh, guild raids. Personal reward. Oh yeah, here we are. Here's my reward. I'm gonna say, bomb, bomb, bomb. It's gonna be a reward to collect here somewhere. I am in a guild. I'm not really sure uh, of the nature of guilds as yet in the game. But there we are. I'm, I'm in one. Uh, there is a boss to fight, and it is this uh, Necron fella. Um, Try so I've got two battle things. This is this works kind of like your uh, this is your group guild all get together to attack one big bad guy. You don't kill him, but you can you know hurt him a little bit. Um, I tend to take this team because this is sort of my uh, my relatively strong team. Um, it's basically the sort of standard heroes you get at the start of the game, but I've leveled them up, so they're not uh, well. They're they're stronger than some of the uh, the weaker. Heroes, although this guy, if he's... Oh, no, I thought he was going to kill them all then. Uh, some of the ranged units, it's best to move them one square away so that they, uh, when they go off, they do more damage. Um, that guy... I don't know why he did that. That's a bit weird. Uh, this... And this fella here, um, he is worth sort of putting off. Try not to use him on your first turn in some ways because the longer you leave him, the more of these little um, henchmen he summons. <coughs> Are the henchmen now? The uh, now the boss has summoned his henchmen because, which obviously, you know, not just me versus the boss. Uh, I actually, it probably wasn't worth doing that because he's standing there on his own, but never mind. Um, I'll shoot him with my special. Everybody gets a special, they can only use once. Uh, so I'm focusing mainly on the boss. I can, um, d you know, I could focus on some of the minions, but they're not as important, really. Um, they you only get so many so many rounds on these just so you know it's time limited you can't just keep going uh bum 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 i think he's just done something so you've got a second turn that's what that felt like boom boom you can see he's got tons of health i'm not really doing all that much damage to him uh per turn a bit of flamer damage there might have to kill some of the minion or do, attack some of the minions at least as they are getting progressively more annoying uh i can use my healer here probably not that important to heal on a one of these because it's kind of time limited so i've only got two rounds left but heal up anyway and there we go you can see i've not really done a huge amount of damage to him but then his damage is massive because he's like a boss and then at the end of the next turn he'll suddenly disappear and go flying off into space or you know whatever he does uh oh, oh it's because these guys going to say sometimes you, you if you're next to one enemy you have to use your uh your close combat attack and there you go boom gone so there we are so that's a that's a boss attack they um take you forward a little bit you can see all my guys are sort of maxed out uh now what i hadn't realized 
which took me a little while to realize was that when you go into this uh oh i can upgrade some more of these guys uh, i tend to apply the things as soon as i get them um because just because uh get that out of the way uh, i'm not going to use experience on these guys because i'm still focusing on these what these ones at the top so uh, most of the things you can get you can uh, you can acquire bits that you need and if you're going to find you can go oh battle 40 of the indomitus campaigns you can go so most of the upgrades are things you actually have to acquire you can't you don't sort of seem to gain um strength just by replaying levels you don't sort of gain experience you have to replay um set levels and then that makes you a lot uh you you can then use the the items you find to make yourself more powerful um so this is replaying level i think it was level 40 wasn't it this hopefully will get me the uh like little badge tokeny thing that uh, my captain uh, my librarian sorry i should say he's a librarian uh, needs to upgrade um the little scarab beetles are very uh, irritating uh, it is best to the best guy for dealing with them is this uh, the guy with the jump pack uh, he summons up minions as well and they jump in and do jump pack stuff the flamer is quite effective against them which this um, the sister battle sister has so the other guys are a lot less effective against um against scarabs they tend to kill one out of five which is very slow because they're tiny so uh yeah just let your uh, jump pack guys and your um excuse me flame it deal with those um so like this oh that was the wrong one wrong one the one thing i will say is it's quite easy in this game to accidentally use the wrong hero um so there i meant to use the sniper and use the flamer they all look broadly similar when viewed from above of course uh, i guess you get used to it but anyway uh there are, so that's got me you can see now i have my uncommon seal so i can go onto this and i can make my librarian uh stronger by getting the seal so here is the seal let's apply it Ba -bum -ba -bum. There we are. That's upgraded my librarian a little bit. Uh, now the other thing I can do, which I didn't realise, was to upgrade them again and again and again. You need to go into uh, this. Uh, you need shards, so you need shards of them to upgrade them, which you know not particularly unusual. But I didn't realise you can actually just get you can farm those as well. So I can go into battle in, on the Indomitus campaign, and I can just for this one I'm just going to use raids. So raid is uh, re is like the replay if you've already completed the level. You're out of attempts for this battle today, so I can't do that one anymore. So you can only do each battle so many times, but now you can see I'm up to 17 shards. So I'll have a look. Uh, have I got any of them close to the right number of shards? No. No, I'm not going to be able to up-level any of them today. But this is where you can go to get the shards. And I can go pew, 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 until I run out of uh world energy so that's it that battle's done but i've now gained so i'm going to be able to uh, so over time i'll be able to upgrade my heroes uh with the uh additional shards that they require so that's quite important and i hadn't realized that uh, until relatively recently that this is where you can get your shards uh, and now i've run out of world energy so that's that one done so yeah shards are available uh and that means that i can sort of constantly well can keep leveling up my uh, my heroes or at least the heroes that i'm actually re regularly using so that's quite good uh, and going into this one i then have obviously completed battle pass things so i can go into missions again look for the little green things it's not always immediately obvious if you have got a green uh, badge has popped up it's not always immediately ob obvious where that green thing will be uh win 300 there we are. so but these ones were at least relatively clear uh, other things are you when you go into battle modes you've got the campaign mode which is which i'm quite right uh the mirror campaign which i'm not really on to yet because i've got the people arena which is where you're fighting against other people but you've also got uh, guild raids uh, salvage runs and onslaughts and it's worth trying to do these you get sort of two attempts a day so um the salvage run is basically you get attacked by a load of little weak gretchen -y creatures um they come down and you have to kill them and grab the loot nothing too onerous about it basically i would suggest at least in the early stages you don't really need to worry too much about keeping your guys together uh, you just want to get them into the middle of the battlefield so that when anything appears you can attack it quickly uh, attacking includes weirdly sort of destroying items which is uh, a bit odd uh, um 
so I can attack this box. Ooh, anyway, attack the box. Um, try and get your sniper. If you've got the sniper guy, try and get him up high. Well, I mean, you will have the sniper guy if you're using the sniper guy. Sorry, it's probably what I should be saying. Because there's no, um, you know, you don't have to use the same. There are a lot of heroes out there. I am just using the basic ones, but you can buy more expensive ones and so on and so forth. Um, I am, let me think. Uh, right, okay. So if I flick, oh, no. What do you mean out of, oh, I know what it means out of range. Yeah, it is out of range, isn't it? Uh, okay, um, just thinking, 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 thinking. Dangerous thing to do. Boom. Right, oh, he's ran away. About to use my um, special skill to summon a load of uh, doodads. Okay, uh, can I move once? Right, that's fine. Destroy that. So, uh, yeah, so obviously this is the loot is all coming my way. I get various loot for grabbing various things. Uh, oh, you can't move that far. Oh, I just realised there's a box there to destroy. Let's destroy that one. And here they come again. Right, okay. Uh, what I want to do, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, is to, yeah, no, I knew that might happen, um, is to create like a space so that I can land, right, this guy can land, and then he can summon in a load of those guys, because then they will do half the work for me, so I've now got my automated little um, little doobry guys, and they'll run around and kill everybody, and go, pew, 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 here they go, pew, 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 there we go, so they've done half the stuff that needs to be done for me, uh, I can then just use my other guys to do this, and this, and this, Boom, that one's locked. Sometimes they are locked or blocked or damage proof or whatever. I don't know. We've got a load of the uh, black crystal shards then, which are really helpful. That's like the premium game currency. And here's the last one. And here they come. And as you can see, my, again, my automated guys pretty much dealt with everything. So just a tiny bit of finishing off. And there we are. Collected everything. Cha-ching. A bit of loot. Um, all the stuff which will help me develop. And I'll do that one one more time. So, as with most of these games, it's sort of knowing where to find stuff is uh, is quite important. Uh, so I can obviously upgrade. It's probably only going to be upgrade one of them. Uh, here we are. Oh, I can give him some uh, plated greaves. There we are, plated greaves. There we are. So he's now equipped with armor, which means he will be that bit tougher, which is good. Obviously, toughness is good. And I can go into this. And oh, I've got another battle pass thing, so that'll be probably a mission. Uh, claim this one. There's one that always pops up and says you can claim it, but it's, you have to activate it, so that's a, a pay-to-play one, so claim to activate that one. Uh, and then I've uh, got a mission again, so Plasmancer, points towards Thutmose, some badges which will help level up, uh, not unfortunately the characters I am actually using, but it will help me level up my um, uh, Necron characters, not the, the ones I'm not using, basically. Uh, I might, I mean, I'll use them eventually once uh, once we get a bit further into the game, I'm guessing. So here we go. Uh, okay, so same as before. Here they come. Pew 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 pew. Um, just basically going to want to rush towards the middle of the board uh, and start killing as soon as I can. So here they come. Bomb. They're not very powerful on this. Uh, in fact, with a bit of luck, I might be able to kill nearly all of them with this. Boom. Nope, not quite all of them, but three of them. Um, there we are. Da -da 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 um, boom. I may as well summon these guys in. So, like I say, these there's the summon the summon these guys. Uh, it's quite, it's handy to try and get more than one of them if you can. Um, and then they come in and run around and do lots of good stuff. And get I've got my little sniper guy up on high where he can shoot stuff. Straight away, flame through that, tack there, uh, bomb, 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 and oh, they've run away. He's not the fastest guy, so I'm gonna, not going to remove him, I'll leave him there. And here they come, boom, 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 boom. Little Gretchen fella getting getting, uh, getting handed to him. Uh, right, get, get the loot. You can shoot that. There we go. So plenty of gold. You can see why I, can say, why I said gold's uh, a readily available resource. My guys are now fairly sort of spread out. Two rounds to go, so they'll get to kill all these these little minions. These little gretchen -y creatures. I think they're called Gretchens. Is that right? I'm pretty sure they're Gretchens, or they might be snots. It's uh, it's been a while. It has been a while since I uh, since I played these games. Um, and certainly Warhammer 40k. I was always more of a fantasy battle man. Um, 
in my day, fantasy, the fantasy, oh, I'm out of the game of fantasy battles. Um, although, of course, they've, they've nuked fantasy battle and replaced it with uh, Age of Sigma, which I'm, I don't know, makes me feel kind of sad. I like the old fantasy battle, but anyway, uh, I guess that you know, you sometimes have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, maybe I don't know. Anyway, so there we are. So that is uh, so that's the key things is to keep an eye on the little green dots that appear all over the screen. Um, look for the shards and the missions. You can get the shards, which I didn't realise were the thing. I believe this is probably true of like these ones as well. So like these shards, yeah. So I could get Aleph Nul um, by doing some more missions. Uh, I could unlock him by doing more missions where I fought him. So replaying the missions where you gained a character is quite important. Obviously, try and use your world energy as much as, as effectively as you can, so get as much uh, stuff as you can. Um, obviously, I'm hoping to upgrade some of these guys. I'd quite like this this guy only needs three uh, three tokens, t three shards to be up leveled. So I'll try and get him done soon. The snipers, a few more, and obviously the others are a bit further away. Um, but just sort of trying to make here one hero at a time stronger i didn't even check out the um the where's my sister because she's been quite a key part of my thing she's on uh three out of 15 11 out of 10 have you ever 11 out of 10 anyway there we are so she needs her um you know she needs her powers upgraded as well so she's one to consider you the flamethrower thing as i say quite useful for the scarabs and what have you and you can oh well, she can uh how do you there we are. this is one of these chaos it's chaos fellas, I don't really use. Um, I haven't really started using the uh, the chaos heroes. Let's see what else have I got. Uh, Vindicta, we've done. Oh, and these are ones I haven't got. So I don't know. you can you can sort of see them all. Um, with winged angel and necron, Ooh, necron thingy bob, necron spidery bob, ne necron definite spidery bob, uh, Alan, and. Bill. There we are. So there we are. So there are lots of characters and things, and it's sort of slowly unlocking the powers. Um, it says I could do with it. Oh, okay. Give it a go. Try the repair kit. If it's a rare upgrade, um, I've spent twenty five. Let's see. It does because again, the the green circle is kind of the key thing. Oh, I see. So I can now apply it here. So that's quite handy. So he's now got that, and uh, this one armor. Ooh. I can go and get that one. Box of salvage. So I can hopefully upgrade this guy fairly quickly. I need uh, one of these. So if I go to this, can I do this? I may. No, I'm out of still, still out of world energy. Hasn't recharged enough yet. But in time, I'll have the world energy to go back and try and claim that one. Uh, so yeah, sort of steadily. Yeah, look at what you need. Look for the green, uh, the little green dot circle things, and they're a really good indicator of where you should uh, where you should direct your your rage or your energy or whatever anyway so there we are thank you very much for watching as ever do please remember like share comment and subscribe and it just remains for me to say hova goodbye and may death come swiftly to your enemies <laughs>